Let's see, hopefully that's going live. And I'll do the little intro that I made a while ago and see if this will give us like one second or two with the welcome to the book club. <laughs> I love that. I always forget to use it. And then there's a second yeah. one. Oh, same one again. Then we have the other one. So the Ooh. introduction, we're official now. Welcome to the main Very club. nice, very professional. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And <laughs> I might have to put her on the floor because I'm pretty sure she's going to eat my notes. So <laughs> this is, I wanted to introduce everyone to the newest member of the family. This is Daisy. So I think I've only shared one Instagram story of her. So this is her Cozy Mystery Book Club debut. debut. <laughs> Yay. And I figured because it's the Cozy Companion book that it was the perfect time to show Daisy <laughs> to y'all and introduce her. And she's like, she's only seven months old. So that's why she's like, why are you doing this to me? Put me down. Get, let me have your paper again. <laughs> but so most cute. importantly, so that's Daisy. I have this amazing bookstagrammer and blogger as my guest host for the very first time. So we have Tammy, AKA Tamsterdam Reads. And I'm going to pull up Ooh. her profile <laughs> as Daisy is trying to like steal things. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the amazing Tamsterdam Reads here. She has her blog. She has her Goodreads. She has one of the most beautiful bookstagram accounts. So your aesthetic makes me so happy. The colors Aww. that you chose, the pastel overlays, the way you photograph things, I absolutely love it. So if y'all are not already following her, please check out her Instagram because she also has Thank the most you. thoughtful captions with the most beautiful photos. So major shout outs to this woman. Oh, been, thank you. <laughs> you've been a part of the book club for a very long time. Yeah. So it's about time yeah. you were the guest hostess. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I, um, again, I want to thank you for bringing um, Cozy Mysteries to the forefront. Um, oh, it was, you know, when I mentioned Cozy Mysteries, I guess start of like the pandemic, people were like, what is that and whatnot? It was so nice to see that. I'm like, okay, there's a book club. There's people out there that are loving this. Um, I got into Cozy Mysteries through Maya Corrigan. Um, Crept Suzette was my first, I think. Well, Agatha, Agatha Christie is, yeah, I read her uh, in the past. But, you know, the contemporary uh, Cozy Mysteries was definitely Maya Corrigan got me into it. And I absolutely loved it. And I just, I dove right in and loved it and never looked back. Oh, wow. I love yeah. that so much. I know yeah. she's here somewhere. Oh. So <laughs> I, I, I feel as if I, I shouldn't admit this because it just, I mean, I'm just going to say my 2022 was like a very bad year. I was sick. I was going through like a whole bunch of things up and downs. And I interviewed her last Malice Domestic. So not this Malice Domestic, last Malice Domestic. Yeah. And I have the video, like I need to edit the video footage, but she was so lovely. So as soon as you said that, I'm like, I know her, I met her. Yeah. And she's so sweet. So I'm like really excited about that now. I'm like, I gotta go, gotta go edit that because Tammy loves her and we gotta feature yeah. her so other people can find her. <laughs> yeah, she was my first uh uh, author uh, interviewer uh, interview that I got to do host it was just with me and a few friends I'm like hey we read this together we loved it do you mind chatting with us and she was so lovely and she did and hopped on uh, video chat with us so she's I recommend her uh, she's one of my top favorite um, cozy mystery mm. authors so I totally I also yeah. feel like that's not a name you hear all the time. No, I feel as if people are like at all. Lee Alexander, we yeah. have Ellery Adams. So like to hear you say someone who doesn't get like the shout outs, I'm like, yeah. yes, because she's so talented and she's yes. so kind as a person. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, definitely check her out. Um, I think it's five secret five ingredient. I'm yep. butchering it. Uh, mystery series. Um, and she has one that's coming out, I think, the later this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I also oh, no. read <laughs> eventually <laughs> the arc for it. Yeah. I like I'm laughing because it, it is the five ingredients because I've told y'all I love reading my <laughs> I love reading my baking cozies, but I live vicariously through those. Mm -hmm. I am not a cook. So her five ingredients is much more appealing, slash my style, slash okay, I relate to this Luther. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am not much of a cook either. And I just live vicariously through them um and i just love the whole her uh the main characters like the old the the grandfather and just the situation she's in and things mm -hmm. like that so and i thought her last one was pretty interesting um it was based on a like a almost like a murder mystery convention i think it was yeah. or i'm butchering <laughs> it again and it was just a very unique take on um what happens 
during those conventions and yeah. then murder happens and they thought it was fake and anyways, it was interesting <laughs> that's just yeah it's, she's uh, she's very clever that's yes. the, again i almost feel like giving her like because with krista davis like the details that you think of like that's something that she does like those little details that come yeah. back around you're going oh okay like yes i remember that but i didn't make yeah. a mental note of it that this was important <laughs> yes yeah i i yeah when you go back to it, it's like oh why didn't i just record that down or uh i would fail as an amateur sleuth but that's okay that's okay. Well, I, I guess sometimes, everything. sometimes I figure it out. Sometimes I figure it out. Well, I the murder she burned, I didn't. Oma was supposed yeah. to be the sleuth. And she's like, oh, are you Liesl Fletcher? <laughs> I was pulling yeah. up the comments. Y'all are so cute. I'm so glad you guys are able to join us tonight. I hope you, I, again, I saw some of you said you followed her. I hope you love her account and I know you will. <sighs> so I full heartedly recommend. And I'm like, yes, you are. You're guaranteed so much reading fun and goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I hope you Thank guys you for enjoyed. joining, guys. Marilyn, that's cool. I'm coming from Toronto, Canada. So we got some. Oh, yeah, Rose Care. I'm from Ontario, too. Hello. Oh, my goodness. You guys are commenting. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to go back because I mentioned this in the comments up above, but every single comment tonight counts as a giveaway entry for the ARC for Flat Ooh. White Fatality Emline Duncan series. It is, I always, I always want to say grounds, but it's ground singular, no S on it. A ground rules mystery. Number three, flat white fatality, Emmeline Duncan. This is an arc. So someone is going to be winning a paperback. So the more you comment, the better your chances. So I've read that one. Today. It's pretty darn good. You guys are, will enjoy it. I did read that one. I have to. I love how you're on yeah. your reading game. Like, <laughs> I read that arc. <laughs> yeah. For that one. I'm behind on others. Guilty. But that one I did read. Well, yeah. that was, that is still very impressive because yeah. when it comes to arcs, we were we mentioned this off camera, but it, it sometimes is overwhelming. Or you're going, sure. oh my gosh, I just read this series, and now my mood wants me over here. But I said I would do this. It's yeah, hard. Yeah, it, it is a hard life. It's a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm glad you guys who have read it enjoy it. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh, is yes. Yeah, so where is it? Is it cold up there? <laughs> It's actually quite warm today. It was warm. It actually can get really hot here, um, especially in July and August and September. Really hot uh, and really humid. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but in Celsius, it uh, can get up to 36 degrees Celsius. So if you guys got time to Google, 36 degrees, 39 degrees sometimes. Um, but it in the, in the winter, it can, pretty, it can get really cold. <laughs> Really, really, really cold. So, yes. But, no, today it was actually a very nice and kind of hot day. It was 28 degrees Celsius. Again, no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. But maybe one of you guys can tell us. <laughs> say, that's one of those things I end up Googling. And I feel as if yeah. my old high school teachers would be so mad at me. So, are yeah. like, oh, my gosh, you should have known that. It's like those know, geometric equations. You're like, oh, I know it's supposed to be this. I memorized it, but I just don't remember. Sorry. I, I forgot all that when I left. <laughs> <laughs> the school. Oh, yeah. you're not going to use the equation to do a floor if you're doing the carpeting of like eight walls. And if this is going to be a little angular, you're not going to be doing those equations. Yeah, I, not me, but hey. <laughs> I mean, all I care about is the page count with books. Yes. <laughs> like, what yes. percentage into the book does the body drop? Like, is yes. it a five star review? Those are the numbers I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I loved Murder, She Barked, the, the size of the chapters um they were not too long and not too short and they kept my attention i love that I, I i struggle when it's a really when there are really long chapters in um a cozy mystery or books in general so i really enjoyed the fact that murder she barked was just the perfect Where yes go. i just right. saw it said 96 fahrenheit yeah. i was like she googled it she knows <laughs> thank you <laughs> I wouldn't have yeah. known. So yeah. yeah, I actually was going to say that was one of my notes about the short chapters because she also ended them in a way where they were not quite a cliffhanger, but there was one saying, oh, and I shouldn't have come down here. Or, oh, I should have left already. And, yeah. and then the next she picks it up going, because now Philip walked in and I got to yeah. deal with him. So like, it yeah. wasn't so much. You're like, wait a second, I'm, I'm out of the loop. I'm missing something, but she just picks yeah. it right up next. So that kind of worked for me. It was yes. different. Yeah, it was definitely different um yeah like when um i think it was Car carrie the night reception anyways when he like burst in and said holmes is getting arrested and it's like what 
<laughs> and I'm like, okay, I need to like end it to eat. And then I'll come back to it. And she did pick it up, just like you said. Yeah. I also love Chris, uh, Krista Davis writing. That's why I chose this one to talk to you, uh, Angela, about this. Because I knew, I think I read one of her Diva series of novels last year. And I was like, okay, she's really good. Um, I think I'm, it's a good choice with this book. And I was, I was right. She is a really amazing um, author. And I'm just so glad I found her last year. And now I'm going to just read all her backlist for sure. I was going to say, I, I think you've been scheduled to be the co-host for like almost a year. Like, almost. I think you had uh, yeah, cause like, at least six talking, months in advance or I something. I think you were yeah. literally like only two months at that time had been scheduled. And I was, and cause we had, we, we messaged back and forth on Instagram yeah. and I love her account and she's always commenting on, on my account and I'm always commenting on her account. So I feel like I know her, even though we've never actually interacted like this before. <laughs> I, I just technology but yeah. I remember messaging and I was like oh these are the months that are available and I remember you took like a little like I want to say a couple days to get back you're like yeah. I think this is the month that I want I'm like okay <laughs> yes yeah yeah and that uh, was I like, knew, like yeah. December 2022 yeah or something <laughs> yeah it was a while ago yeah that's hilarious. It was a very long time ago. Yeah. So this has been waiting in the wings to happen, y'all. Like, she has been, like, she is a part of this book club. Like, she has been on the books to be our book club hostess for tonight yeah. for the longest time. And then when you said you enjoyed the book, I was yeah. like, thank you. Yes. <laughs> so I, that, that's why I wanted to choose at least an author I read before that I knew I would enjoy. And um, the Diva series novel I read um, by Krista Davis, she done it so well that I was like, okay, this one would be safe to chat about and I'm glad <laughs> it's this one murder she barked I absolutely loved it I don't know how you guys felt um I gave it five stars um you really like yeah it. I really 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 enjoyed it I love the pacing uh I think the pacing was perfect um and it was just I, again not too much not too little there was enough detail there's enough character arc um so that's the struggle with cozy mysteries I find sometimes is it's a lot uh, plot based and not enough character based and I love character based novels um so it was it was nice to have a little bit of both in this novel personally but yeah so right from the get-go as soon as I picked up this book I'm going I already know that I'm gonna like this because there was the character list so I'm going this woman has yes. already made the details she's on her game like I didn't even read anything but I'm going she made the list and it's organized because it's yeah. going by who's the, who's the relevant guest at the end, who are the residents, who's yeah. an employee. And I'm going, this is only two pages, but I'm going, this woman knows exactly what she's doing. I'm like, and chapter one. <laughs> I was going to mention about that Holly's list. It was so helpful mm -hmm. um, to keep on track with all the different characters. And I know that's a struggle with many other people uh, when they are reading. Um, yeah, Rose. I Yeah. Um, I feel the same way um, when there's a lot happening all at once. Um, and this didn't, wasn't all at once, but there's a lot of characters in that list. I kept referring to like, okay, wait, was it like that? But I also write in my notebook as I go along to help me remember. Uh, it helps me immensely, um, especially with cozy mysteries to keep track. But that list was, I love, I love when cozy mystery authors provide lists. So if there's any other cozy mystery authors watching, please include the character list. We appreciate it. <laughs> I was going to say, even if the publisher is not going to print it in the book, if you have it on your website or your blog, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Amazing and a game changer. <laughs> that I I agree. I agree. Definitely, I agree. I was going to say, someone had a comment up here because I feel as if we do have to talk about the love life at some point. I don't know when you guys want to get into this, but we have Ben, we have Holmes. And I yes, love the fact please. that this guy's named Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's talk about it. Um, I love romance aspects in Cozy Mysteries. It just brings it a little bit. Again, that brings it to more of the character-based part of the novel. And I love that. Um, you could already tell from the beginning Ben was not so impressive. Um, but I'm, yes, team, hashtag Team Holmes. Jess loves Cozy. Yes um i love it <laughs> yeah uh, i uh really am looking forward to reading more of the series to see where hopefully holmes uh ends up um mm -hmm. but i love how rose and lisa were playing trying to play matchmaker which was lovely 
um, such a lovely, funny aspect of the novel. But um, I'm hoping it, although, although I just feel like um, Holly was very shaded by Ben, just kind of like, I was like, girl, what, how, why were you with him that long? <laughs> he was like very matter of fact, but I get it. I get it. You just go with the flow and just yeah settle I mean, or something. I'm not sure. One of my yeah. notes was I don't know where it is in this mix because there are so many in front of me. But one of the things I had wrote down was he mentioned moving in together because it was practical, not because he was actually yeah. wanting to move in with her and it was romantic. It was oh you can save money since you don't have a job and oh like you can get rid of like you can just use my car and we can do this. Nothing about it was I want to spend time with you. I think it'd be great if we move forward in our relationship. And I'm going if she better not move in with him and then like in book five get a divorce and then be with this I'm like no oh no. gosh. <laughs> right. Someone just mentioned I didn't catch it but even Dave might be even a prospect that she wouldn't mind homes but or um yeah texted a proposal i saw i think someone yeah, or druggist yes cooking with yes i i thought that too i in my mom like maybe the pharmacist but again i didn't read he any of find the dog he is a perfect romantic interest yeah. he helped with that <laughs> yes he did he did and i think she mentioned he was like handsome or he reminded her of ben but in a better way i think was the comment <laughs> Did I lose you? Oh no. Hopefully her her sound will come back on. Oh, hopefully that works. I don't want any technology to get in the way. Um, I do know the answer to this question. It is they were together for over a year and a half. Can you oh I think your audio? You can unmute it. <laughs> Hi, can you guys hear me now? Yes. You're can good. You yes. <laughs> I tried to unmute it from my side, but it was I going, you happened. can't do that. That's not one of your functionalities. <laughs> Okay, I kind of thought maybe the proposal was a text typo. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> oh, no. I see the little mute button for them. It's a, There's a little microphone on this side when you're filming or on air, and it has, like, a little microphone. There it is. The line through the microphone's gone. I know she can talk now. <laughs> she should have. You have audio? Okay, she's working on it. So while, she, <laughs> while she's figuring that out, I'm going to say I was making notes about the pharmacist because we also didn't find out his name right away. So I had to make an entire page of notes just on this guy because I loved him when he gave the asthma medicine away for less than it was worth. I was so happy about that. And then when <laughs> I had that bad moment of, oh, no, going to get... Oh. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. How do I, is there a way to help on my side? It says the audio is on for you. Do you want to try to rejoin in? Okay, she's. Well, I'm gonna add her back to the live stream, hopefully, and we can fix this because she's so awesome. I want her to be part of this conversation. I want her to have audio. So fingers crossed, technology likes us. And now you guys get the full background of my bookshelves um, as that kind of. I, this just sort of popped up now. You can see all the autumn colors that I went with because it's supposed to be cozy for cozy mysteries. Anyway, so I'm gonna pull up your comments. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as she's going to log back in, I'm just going to pull up some of this stuff. So, yeah, can, can we also talk about the fact we don't really find out Kim was a full on girlfriend until much later when Zelda was saying, oh, they've been together. And she's going, she was the girlfriend and she doesn't care at all. She doesn't mind. He's hanging out with the ex. Oh, my gosh, you're <laughs> can you guys hear her? Or am I just not hearing her? Please comment and let me know what's going on because you. you can hear me. <laughs> I'm curious if they can hear you though. Yeah, I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Was there a total black screen for a second? I don't know how I. I don't know how this is working. Okay, so they can hear you very lightly, apparently. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know 
Maybe take, can you take off the headphones and just talk to the laptop? Yes, let's try that. Okay, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry, it, you're, you're not, uh, not, uh, not too loud. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I don't know how I'm. What's going on? Okay, there's. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm very bad when it comes to this stuff when it's someone else's computer and I don't know what's going on. And I know she's just went off the screen, so hopefully she'll be able to log back in. Um, it's when it comes to someone else's computer, it's hard to tell what the issues are, especially if someone has, I have a Mac, so if someone has a Dell or an HP, I just look at them and I'm going, I, I, don't, I can't help you with that one. So maybe she'll be able to fix that because <laughs> clearly it is now just my me and my background again. And Daisy abandoned me as well, in case you're curious. I think she was guarding a treat. Um, <laughs> I will say though, one of the fake flowers fell down earlier and she ran off with it like her like her paws were on fire she was running away and i knew she was going to try and eat that fake flower so maybe her not being in this room is not the worst thing in the world she's very cute but that whole fake flower thing really got me a little concerned <laughs> yeah i think also post panda i just saw the comment about things happen i think after everyone went digital and had to deal with zoom and stuff for the pandemic i think everyone is so understanding and so kind about technology <laughs> before it was oh my gosh, didn't you plan ahead? Didn't you think this out? And then when people go through it themselves, they're going, okay, I understand technology, this happens. So, and she, I just saw her in a little chat. She sent a little message saying she's going to exit and come back. So hopefully she's on the way back and we can pick up where we left off because we were talking about Ben and Kim and I'm going to scroll up because I know there were more comments. Hello. Yay! I am so sorry, guys. Technology, and I'm going to throw these out. They're horrible. I apologize for wasting your time, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so you sorry. are very sweet, and you are not wasting anyone's time. And I was just saying, you know, technology, I think everyone at this point understands. I think everyone's yeah. been through it. Yeah. And I actually had, like, a full-on, like, legit podcasting mic, and that was the worst sound quality I think I've ever had. Oh, I'm going, no. did this come defective? Like, what yeah. is up with this? So, oh no. Okay. When you hold those things up, going, I'm like, yep. Even yeah. sometimes when you have the best intentions, they yeah. just they don't work out. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Where were we? <laughs> ben and Kim and Holmes mm -hmm. and. We clearly have a lot going on in Holly's life. So, I, and it's also, you guys are commenting again. Somebody is going to be winning this book because so many comments. I'm like having the hardest time keeping up, but that makes me so happy because I'm like, they're That's engaged. Awesome. We like everything. Yay. That's awesome. I think this is just a test to this book. It's so well done, so well written. And yes, Ben was super boring. Super boring. Also, I, so I just saw this. So, <laughs> Trixie, I. Chris, like Trixie is my favorite character. I love yes. Holly. She's a great sleuther. But the very first character we meet with Holly, our sleuther, mm -hmm. is Trixie. Yes. And it, when it comes to cozy mysteries, the animals are the ones who tell us things. And then later we find out Trixie was key with the yeah. mystery and in solving everything. Yeah. But if you're were if Ben did not like Trixie, and when Kim said she wanted a dog, and he goes, "Do you want this one?" Yeah. I was going, he has, no, this relationship, yeah. it's done, it's over, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, especially if you already see that your partner, your significant other really, you know, was already taking care of it. Obviously, she loved Trixie right away. Why mm -hmm. would you say that? Anyways, it's just, we all know Ben is a dud. Ben is a dud. <laughs> Yeah. I like this. Liesl oh, did not like the Ben. <laughs> I wrote that in my notes. The Ben. And how the she ben. was like, oh, it's my English. My poor English. She like tried to, try to use that excuse for using the Ben. Yes, the Ben is the word. Yeah, he, Beth, it's just, yeah, he would. And I love that. I think that's a classic cozy mystery line that we'll remember from forever. I know I will. <laughs> So I love the fact both 
both of the grandmothers are like, we do not like our grandkids, like, and their significant others. Like, we do not like the significant others. We got to get rid of them. We got to get rid of her, his fiance and her boyfriend. And we have to get, we have to get Holly in town when Holmes is in town this way, they can fall in love and he wants to be here anyway. And then she'll want to come back home. So they're doing their little matchmaking magic. And it's just the cutest thing in the world because yeah. they both are going no, we don't like the fiance. No, we don't like the no. boyfriend. Like yeah. these women are like, we know best. Yeah. <laughs> and clearly yeah. they do. <laughs> and, and just guilt her like you, Rose telling you best you come soon or right away kind of, kind of thing. So she just takes off and go, it gets there. And it was very perfect timing since she, she, what did she quit her job? Yeah. She quit her job yeah. only to be hired again. But anyway, but it was just nice that uh, Liesl knew that, she meant to be at the end and it was i love the setting that uh krista davis wrote um that appealed to me a lot was the setting of the book it seems so adventurous like you're you're driving around golf carts all day like who doesn't want that i i want that i want to move to florida and drive a golf cart all day so anyways i just love the world building in this novel so much and Trixie was a testament to her writing. Uh, perfect sleuth. Oh, um, I yeah. love Trixie. Uh, yes. I love this dog. Yes. And <laughs> just going back to the golf carts, I love that they were electric. <laughs> and this was actually something really important <laughs> at the end about they're so quiet. You can't even tell they're coming. Yep. And then she brought it like she brought this full circle. And I'm going, she's smart. I'm, I'm reading yeah. this book going, oh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> that part is what made me was like, okay, they didn't hear the car coming. So when they said Morty's car was a hybrid, I was like, okay, that's a clue. I was like, okay, there's a clue there. So it's probably really quiet. That's why uh, Sven probably didn't hear it when he decided to, you know, what but happened. I do love <laughs> that the next, the next town is Snowball Mountain. Oh my gosh. Wait, and then the puns. Oh my <laughs> gosh. We have yeah. hair of the dog putting on the like we yeah. have um hounds <laughs> hounds tooth. We have hounds tooth. love all of the names. Yeah. This woman was checking off all of the cozy <sighs> mystery boxes as yeah. I'm reading. I'm going, we have the cuteness with the animals. Oh, they're eating breakfast with the blackberries. <laughs> so my food cozy is like yeah. I'm I'm yeah. satisfied. Yeah. She was it was amazing. Yeah. I was so impressed. And she so included uh, amazing recipes at the back, including for dogs. And I loved how she explained how her dog was allergic to commercial pet food. So she had to cook, uh, you know, human grade food, I guess is what you would call it for. And it was just interesting to read, actually, and very cool. I don't have a dog. I would love a dog, but I have two cats. But um and they, then gorgeous, uh, her Instagram, oh. she has photos. So cute. Yeah, Binks and Sterling. Uh, they're quite characters. One's hollering at the door right now, wanting to get in. That's Binks. He's very vocal. Um, but he will create a scene if I let him in. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just loved how she included the recipes for dog owners to make their own food for them. So it's like they're, you know, you can make your own food and make a little doggy food kind of thing. So. That made me Very so happy in the book when they were ever serving. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> the the humans had their plates and then the dogs had their plates delivered yeah. at the same time, just smaller versions. Yeah, that was, I don't know, it was just a pet haven and pet lover's haven. It was just amazing. Amazing to read. And I love that she included cats. I loved it. I oh, that it. was yeah. what made me so happy yeah. with this was it wasn't just for the cat lovers or the dog lovers. Yeah. And even then, as our sleuther, she ends up getting adopted. She's adopted yep. <laughs> by both a yep. cat and a dog. <laughs> yep. 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 I loved it. It was very cute. Oh, my goodness. And that cat. So I had Twinkle a dog toes. Had Twinkle. And she's Twinkle Toes. I'm oh like, my I was gosh. meant to read this book. Oh, Twinkle that's toes. amazing. Kismet. <laughs> Kismet. I love that name, Twinkle and Twinkle Toes. Just stupid cute. <laughs> oh again i was one of those i got him when i was so young because yeah. i was learning to play the violin and one of the first songs they teach you is twinkle twinkle little star and Aww. so i got him after one of the recitals when i was a kid yeah. so that was how that happened <laughs> oh that's cute and so i don't know how twinkle toes got her name but i love that this cat was just coming in and out of the scene and yep. she's sleeping on her chest and she like bats her away i know oh my <laughs> gosh i 
And when Krista wrote about how the cat was cleaning the area of her food, I was like, oh my gosh, she knows cats because that's what cats do. They clean, they're random and they clean. Uh, yeah, cat person. Um, yeah, so definitely the setting was definitely fun. Um, cat, uh, that the cat with twinkle toes was cleaning her area after eating. I was like, oh my gosh, she knows them. And I love that. Um, she got like Holly had no idea how this cat was getting in and out of her suite. And to find out was that hidden bookcase, like, come on, that's the epitome of like cuteness. Like, okay, hidden bookcase or hidden stairway behind a bookcase. Like, come on, I love that. Oh, yeah. this cat was just this this little thing knew exactly where to go and why. Yeah. And I was so happy because at this point I listened to it on audio first because once I knew that there was gonna be some German, <laughs> German words floating around, and I'm going, okay, I've studied. Russian, French, no German. I'm wow, going, I have no idea. Impressive. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't speak any foreign languages. I yeah. studied some of them. They but didn't that's really awesome. Stick. That's but very cool. I'm going, okay, I'm going to listen to the audio first. And the narrator did such a great job with this one scene where she, Holly's talking to Dave and then there's the thud and the thud. <laughs> and it's the cat coming down the stairs with her toy. <laughs> and the way the narrator delivered that scene yeah. and the way the cat was just the way the character like the cat was portrayed it was just i love that scene so much yeah. it had nothing to do with the mystery or anything else it was really. funny it was, it was a great funny scene. <laughs> yeah i am a big audiobook lover so i i didn't uh listen to this one but i'm sure it was great by sounds of it and i love how when there's a good narrator for an audiobook um i think they can make a break or story for people so it's uh it was really good i was like you know Maybe one more sentence that. than i do in german <laughs> yeah i don't <laughs> I I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, so, some languages. That's why I'm going, okay, I'm going to listen to the audio first. Yeah. Then we're going to go back and reread it if yeah. need be. But the audio was really great for this one. So Good. if you guys are interested in the audio, two thumbs up. I enjoyed yeah. her. And it's very hard doing the, if you're the female narrator, doing the male voices. But I think she did well with it. So yeah. that's, my, yeah. that's my take. Yeah. Okay. So we have questions about Dave. So we do have to talk about him. Because this 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 boy scout who's fourteen years old, everybody else is with persona. <laughs> this poor this poor guy, he's he's only ever solved what was it the missing handbag or someone lost their handbag. Yeah, he's got two murders. He got two murders on his plate. Yeah, and he's just trying to be taken seriously, and no one no one wants to take him seriously. Um, him as a possible love interest that that could be there. I don't know. I just don't feel it. I don't know. I'm not. I ra or maybe it's more like I rather just Holmes or the pharmacist. What was the pharmacist's name? I think it was Eric. I wrote it Eric. down because I, I actually I went back to too. double check because we don't know his name until he calls saying he saw Trixie, and that's when yeah, he's on the yeah, phone. He says yeah. His name. Oh yeah. So his last name is Eric. So it's Eric Dombrowski. Dombrowski. I had to. I actually had to like write that all out because I'm going. <laughs> That's a very interesting last name. What yes. Is that, Polish? <laughs> Polish. Yeah. Hey, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But the, I don't know. I mean, she does come across Dave a lot. Uh, Holly comes across mm -hmm. Dave a lot. So I don't know. There could be a possibility. I just, he's not shown in the greatest light in this book. Um, I felt badly for him. I felt bad. Really did like, she's peaches. She's not the nicest. Or the and... Prissy. Which one? Was yeah, it's Prissy. Yeah. I Prissy, think that yeah. name alone should tell you something. <laughs> Yes, I loved how it's like you can tell who the extra special people are with their name. <laughs> yeah. 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 How do you think Dave is a possibility though? Or I mean, I kind of this is why I think I enjoy this book because she did a really nice job of making it so that again, it's always like this episodic, or is it gonna be an overarching narrative? she did both and so i had this satisfactory ending of she's staying in wagtail she's going to be helping she's yeah. going to be a partner with the inn the mystery solved but we don't have all of loose ends tied up of is she going to choose dave is she going to choose holmes holmes still has a fiance what's going to happen there and yeah. oh wait a second they're having this big event next month with, the, <laughs> with yeah. the, the halloween and the ghosts so like there are things to look forward to down the road and i was okay with that like i wasn't going oh but you didn't answer this question. Yeah. So again, I think we're on book eight or nine. Please, I don't, I'm hoping this isn't a Hannah Swenson situation where we're going to be mm -hmm. like, oh, it's, 
we're going back and forth. It's Norman. It's Mike. It's Norman and Mike. And I, I mean, I'm like hoping once she chooses, we just stay down that path. But yeah. I mean, at the, at the moment, I think she can probably go out on a couple dates, put a little feelers out there. I'm open to whoever yeah. she wants to be with. Cause yeah. I mean, these guys, they're all, they're all nice guys. I mean, as long as it's not Ben. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does the attendee say? Is anyone commenting about how they feel about Dave being a possible romance? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I agree. Cooking with my cozies. Dave does need help. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That was so bad. Ransom reads the Peaches Baby Trap store. So bad. Would you like to explain or talk about? Please. Um, yeah. So uh, maybe I'm not remembering it correctly, but I. Did uh is it Liesel had an issue with Peaches because of the fact that I guess her son and Peaches were together at one point, um, and she claimed that her baby was or Prissy was uh Holly's father's baby, right? Yep. <laughs> Very dramatic. It's like soap opera. Um, and it she made sure that they got a DNA test. Mm -hmm. She there's no messing with Liesel. She made sure that the DNA test was done and proved that, nope, I don't know his, the name. He is not the father. I don't know Holly's name, uh, Holly's dad's name. So, but he's it not the father. It sounded like a Jerry Springer, like Jerry Maury, Springer, like, he's Maury Povich. Not the he's not the father. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That was a, that was bad. That was bad. No wonder Liesl doesn't like her. No. Yeah. That, and also, I love how Peaches is supposed to be the injured party. I don't understand how she thinks she's the injured party in that story, but okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we find out who Prissy is and it's <laughs> very quickly. Again, when it comes to animals and cozy mysteries, if you don't like the dog or you mistreat the dog, oh my you're gosh. a bad person. Yeah. And pinching a dog's butt, a dog you don't know, <laughs> yeah. giving it the ugliest collar, trying to be like weird and rude with this dog. And then you throw away the dog's collar, literally three minutes after the dog and the owner run out yeah. trying to get back to each other. Ugh. And you, you knew as soon as they said Peaches store. was her mom. No. And she owns a pet accessory store. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That, when I read that, I was just like, okay, she's, she's a, she's lovely. Yeah. She's in the she's wrong not... line of work. If you don't, yeah. pet, don't oh work in a pet store. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that um there's other options though for Holly that she found in that little wig tag town, town that there's other accessory places for her and it was called puppy love which i yeah. think was even a cuter i think that was a better title for the store yeah. and that yeah. lady was adorable yes that store owner was so sweet and so cute and i'm going i am so glad you're having a better experience after the last one yes definitely because i was worried about trixie yeah we i think we all were it was it took a little while for her to get a hold of trixie so yeah i was a little concerned there for a while but i'm glad you know obviously it worked out but well, even then with Trixie, right from the beginning, I felt like there was that Sarah McLaughlin song playing in the oh background. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> it was yes. so sad yeah. with this dog being left at the gas station. And she's so sweet and innocent. And I'm going, I really want you to have a good home. I'm like, you cannot pinch this dog. It's not just yeah. pinching a dog. It's pinching a dog who has like been through things. <laughs> like you I don't know. do that. <laughs> That was that was heartbreaking, you know, the dog being at the gas station and just being there and didn't want to like go with anyone until Holly came along. Um, I'm sure that happens in real life. I don't want to know about that though. Like I want to pretend everything's <laughs> lovely, but uh, <laughs> like there's a reason yeah. we cozy mysteries. Like there's a reason yeah, we yeah, yeah. That was heartbreaking though. But and yeah, peaches well, or prissies, they're meh. Well, you could tell, too, because I made a couple notes of it because the poor thing was scared of enclosed spaces. She didn't like elevators. She was scared about getting the bath yeah. and going, this poor little dog. And then <laughs> someone's shooting at her when she's <laughs> out there. I'm like, we got to protect Trixie at all costs. Kim tries to steal Trixie. Trixie was a big part of this story. Yeah, for and sure. she's the one who had, like, the case cracking. Like, she had the... The she was the sleuth. All difference. <laughs> she was the main sleuth for sure, like you said. She was definitely. Oh, I mean, I also like. I mean, when it comes to Kim, you do not try and steal the dog. Like Kim was an amateur and not an amateur sleuth. She was an amateur criminal. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just saw I just saw this. I am so glad Trixie was on she was on her game. Yeah. She knew. Yep. I'm also glad that Holly is the one who took her home and is taking care of her. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, I think Trixie chose well, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I think uh she'll be interesting with I, I don't know how, what I haven't read any of the other books in the series, but I'm wondering if like Trixie does do the obedience classes and how that works out. I will say I originally thought this dog was going to be named Doritos for a second because <laughs> that was the very first thing she ate. Yeah. I know that has nothing to do with anything, but she jumps in the I mean, car that's and a she cute name. a bag of Doritos that's and a cute she's name. trying to think of a name. I didn't, I wasn't expecting Trixie that kind of, she's going, oh, she plays her tricks. I didn't, yeah. I didn't make that connection to Trixie right away. I'm going, oh, I, I don't know if I would have gone with that, but it grew on me. The name yeah. grew on me. Yeah. I love that name actually. Trixie. It's very cute yeah well even the opening i posted the quote on twitter oh my goodness where did it go the mark twain quote if you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous he will not bite you this is the principal difference between a dog and a man and so we know about this poor little dog being homeless and as soon as we find out the circumstances the tricks i'm going this quote makes so much more sense now yes it does yeah the details this woman uh, is very, very smart. She's very, very <laughs> talented. Very, very talented. I love the details. Oh my goodness. Because you have you said you have all sorts of notes. I'm curious if there was a note that we hadn't touched on yet that you were like, oh, wait a second, we gotta mention this. Uh, oh, okay, that's a cute one too. Yeah. She was calling her cookie when she was trying to find out, like, yeah. I have treats for you. I didn't think of that, but that would have been a name I would have yeah. gone and with. And Zelda, because. like with her pet psychic. Miss, <laughs> I don't know what the proper term is. I don't know what everyone thinks about Zelda uh, being a pet psychic and if they believe it. So that was one of the notes was like, does she, is she legit or because she couldn't figure out Philip. He's a pet psychic, but she couldn't figure out Philip. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious if like animals are less complicated and they're just more like, honest well, with their emotions. Probably. I'm sure there's a way to logic it out. Maybe. But I <laughs> This has nothing to do with anything again. These, yeah. She's walking home with her and she has the chair and she needs help moving the chair. So yeah. I feel as if she invited her over to help her move the chair. Oh, for, and then a thousand just, percent. Yes. I totally got that vibe. A thousand percent. I just thought Where that you, was so great. I, I think she's going to be a very interesting character. I kind of like her because she's quirky. Um, and the fact that she did that, that's, I, I, read through that i'm like okay she totally yeah zelda was a hoot she was um i i don't know if you've ever been roped into something like that but i have so i was like oh that's so relatable i i know what holly's going through where she's like she thought you're going into something and you end up being like tasked with something else because you feel bad and are in an awkward situation yeah. to say no so yeah <laughs> like oh we invited you over and i need help painting this wall <laughs> I always yeah like so was, yeah, Zelda didn't, wasn't as good with people. You're right. Yeah. I no, just saw this comment and I totally forgot about this, but Zelda wasn't her real name. And that is amazing that she renamed herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You found Philip Shady from the beginning. You already had your mm. little antenna up about him. Mm, interesting. Yeah. He was a little too suave, a little too suave, but also, I don't know. I, I had a little like creepy vibe from him radar i don't know what the yeah term <laughs> little oh, bit no. when he ever was like we're gonna end up together and i'm going did i miss a chapter about you guys going on a date when he ever just acted as if they were instant couple yeah. i was so creeped out by him i'm going i don't know what your deal is but there's something wrong with you like i just sort of wrote him off as soon as he was going like we're ending up together i'm going you're going on the stalker list at the local police station yes, you're right <laughs> I think if your Aunt Bertie is it Aunt Bertie approved, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Just like if the dog doesn't like you, you're a bad yeah. person. If, if Aunt yeah. Bertie likes you, yeah, uh, yeah, oh, I that think woman. that's a good um, notification to yourself about. Okay, let's steer clear of this person. <laughs> Was he the one too that she said looked like Santa Claus? Or is that a different cat? No, that's Brewster, excuse me. But Brewster. yeah, I don't think he had a very attractive description either. No, I think he um I think he could have been. I think I got the vibe that he could have been, but you could tell he was like just aging already, receding hairline, I think it was, or something like that. And yeah, he was creepy. 
and he was going after younger people so yeah. yeah, I'm thinking Zelda. Zelda's better off without him. I think he's better off in jail. The way the way the story ended, he has a bad bad rap with guys. She her the one guy she was with took all her stuff when she was out of the house and left her with nothing. So, but apparently she she's good with the animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and she's giving dog massages. Which yes, <laughs> I, I again I I had Max for nine years. Yeah. I have never seen or heard of that about the dog massages. Yeah. I know about the mud baths. <laughs> oh, dogs. really? Yes, I know okay. about the mud baths. Okay. And I know about certain things they do about like, we'll buff the nails instead of trimming them. Like I've seen some stuff where I'm going, okay. okay, but I've never seen the dog massage thing before. So that was new for me. Yeah, I think I've seen it on like this uh, dog spa signs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, Lordy, your Aunt Birdie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have seen, I don't know anyone that's brought their dog and done it, but hey, mm. you know, whatever floats your dog's boat, go for it. <laughs> you're like, eh, Zelda, you're like, Zelda needs something to do. She has six cats, you know. Yeah. She's like, out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> she had a, like a witchy house that, I wonder if she ends up with the house because it was mm -hmm. uh, the mayor's, I forgot his name. Jerry. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, that's it. Jerry, uh, Jerry's house. So I wonder if she her the mom the jerry's mom lets her keep it or lets lets her rent it or whatnot well i had to do my little okay where'd it go there was one piece of paper where i had to make sure i was getting everybody's relationship correctly because we have oh, yeah so great. ellie is jerry's mother and so she's yes. now the one in charge of if she gets to keep the house but right yeah you're like <laughs> i had to do my little arrows of like who knows who and yeah like oh oma and ellie own the dog together but yes yeah, so i'm thinking ellie might be nice about it because she seemed pretty reasonable i don't yeah. know how jerry kind of came from her because he was he did not seem He's... to represent his mother and her ideals at all no but he apparently had a good vision helped make the wake tail the town it is now right i think yeah I think that's what the case i loved um i so i look at my notes and i i wrote asterisk next to it the love the cat pajamas rooms with the the like the beams of like the the walkway all around the room i thought that was amazing so again the you know world building was amazing yep. um anyway so i think that just attests to the whole like her writing and what she did with this wagtail town that Jerry helped build <laughs> to tie it back to Jerry. But yeah, he wasn't, uh, he didn't seem very um, friendly. <laughs> no, I mean, when he ever sat down and was like, who are you? I'm going, whoa, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, like, are you rude? rude but at the same time, he had Chief, who was this adorable little dog. Oh and again, gosh, if you yeah. have the animal... I, I can't write you off because your dog is a sweet little heart, you know. It's I was a little heartbroken that Brewster thought Jerry was stealing all his, like, how that ended up. I was like, okay, that's sad. That's sad that Brewster killed him because he thought Jerry was stealing his gold, his golden socks. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, we can, like, talk about the spoiler reveals oh. at this point. No, no, no. Oh, okay. it's, no, no, no. Like, like, it's, it's time. Yeah. Like, yeah. we've been talking about, we've been, like, the main mystery because when it comes to Jerry and this poor guy, it, between the two, the two murder victims, so Sven was murdered by accident. Yeah. And then Jerry <laughs> was murdered because of an error made in judgment or oh i think jerry knows something yeah. he doesn't know something yeah. so then you get him killed i mean the two it's... murder victims like their deaths their, their deaths were so senseless <laughs> yeah it was it was like if you think about it it was just i don't know sad <laughs> it was sad but i think the fact that the mystery itself was so intricate i i didn't make the connections because I, it wasn't until at one point when someone said, well, it's not necessarily the same killer where I'm going, oh, goodness, we yeah. have two mysteries. I'm not going to yeah. solve this. Yeah. So aside from knowing that I I was a little creeped out by Philip, <laughs> I wasn't really, I, I mean, I did not like Prissy. I'm yeah. glad that, that you find out she's kind of involved in her own little yeah, way. She'll get her in trouble. Yeah. I yeah. just didn't like her and her mother. I mean, because this is the other thing, too. When we realized that Oma was the intended victim I thought it was only Peaches because she was mad at the family and they still had that little yeah. like 
back and forth, you know, yeah, letting his dynamic. So I was going to go with her for the Oma almost murder. So yeah. I didn't solve this one. <laughs> I didn't solve it either. Uh, the red herrings were amazing. Good yeah. job, Krista Davis. Uh, <laughs> by dropping, yeah, uh, just by situation. Um, right? How did Brewster not realize his own dog buried the treasure? Because mm -hmm. he was not a good dog owner. I love this. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very rare when the two dogs are not really connected. Right. Yeah, yeah. And yes, if you're a bad dog owner, that also says something about you in a cozy mystery. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, what were you saying? Oh, Brewster and Jerry not knowing what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. Or what not being connected. Well, because, um, yeah. So, so the hiccup was so, again, there are multiple people involved with this issue. So, we have Brewster who wants to get rid of Oma because he wants to take over. No, yeah. Wait, no, no, uh, no, Phil. No, no. Phillip, so, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, wait a second. So, Brewster wanted to get rid of Jerry. And so he hires Tiny, and yeah. Tiny doesn't know what he's doing. And these two are on the phone. So, they butt dial Philip, who realizes, <laughs> oh, I can get in here and yeah. murder the person that I want to murder. <laughs> yeah. Except he gets the wrong murder victim. Yeah. So we have no way to know that he got the phone call by via voicemail yeah. butt dial. Like we didn't know that was gonna happen. No. So I mean yeah, that red herring real. like reveal was if you predicted that, you are amazing. You are the psychic, not Zelda. I give you all the credit, but I did yeah. not see that one coming. <laughs> I thought I only uh, had an inkling about Philip because he mentioned about he had the inns, the different hotels. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, obviously Oma's inn is a direct competitor with him. Yeah. So I had a feeling he was involved. Uh, again, I didn't know about like who the other killer was, but I didn't know exactly if it was Philip, but I knew he was involved somehow. Uh, but the, you know, Brewster and Tiny, no idea. I didn't know until, you know, more things were revealed. So, so it was a very good setup. Yeah. When, when Tiny is describing his birdhouse and then she sees the birdhouse and he made it out of just items that had been discarded with the other build with, with, with again it was hobbit town which i love yes i was like lord of the rings reference thank yes, you love um it. and he made it from the scraps i kind of didn't know what to do with that because i here's this guy building something very like he's building something unique yeah and he's doing it for his kids so i didn't want him to be the bad guy yeah. and when he was arrested i'm going oh this is probably a mistake and then he yeah. confesses and i'm going okay yeah. i don't know what i'm doing anymore <laughs> It was, yeah, I was a little disappointed in Tiny. I was, not little, I was disappointed in Tiny. Yeah. Especially because, like, yeah, you got kids, you know? Yeah, I think I mean, of them. Yeah. Maybe it it's very... because he had a birdhouse and there was no bird in the birdhouse. Maybe yeah. that should have been a clue. With the I thought mystery. it was a treehouse. I don't know. Maybe I misread and it. Maybe it is a treehouse, but he did something I, that was different. A very pretty. Yeah, I thought it was a treehouse that was too high and Aunt Birdie didn't like it and complained about it or something like that. Yeah, something I, I like thought it was a 17 feet house. versus 15 something. feet. And then Jerry had to like measure in the air or something yeah. or <laughs> I don't know. It was a treehouse. Okay, thank oh, you. Thank you for clarifying. Because yeah, yeah the, thank you. I knew it was yeah. he built something. Maybe I wanted it to be a birdhouse. Yeah, maybe he, I thought he needed a pet. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was disappointing that he was involved. Do we see Tiny in the future? I don't know. We'll see. I um, mean, the poor uh, he got mixed up with the wrong people, but yeah. he didn't technically murder anybody. He was in no. on the scandal and he was <laughs> camping out upstairs in his yeah. daughter's sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he was a little too involved to not like get in trouble somehow, though. Especially because yeah, he knew there's a potential murder. Yeah. You didn't come forward, so yeah, that's unfortunate. I, the other thing with that was, <laughs> this, this is where, again, her details, I'm going, did you have a notebook and a planner? How did you come up with this? Because we have Kim. <laughs> okay, so she has her father who has a crush on Liesl or has feelings for her. And right. she borrows his car to give to Brewster. And Brewster gives the car to Tiny to do the deed. And, they, and that's the car that Philip steals. <laughs> yeah. She has to be a plotter, not a pantser. Like, there's no way. I, well, that I don't know. So Maybe. You know. I, it's so intricate. And I did have to reread a couple times uh, certain lines. I'm like, hold on. Let me get my head around this. This person was involved in this way. And this, yeah. 
Yeah, I had to replay one of the chapters and then I listened to it on Audible. And so they'll let you fast forward by 30 seconds or rewind by 30 seconds. Mm, so I kept, I kept rewinding because I'm going, wait a second, which character was this? And yeah. then I listened to my little character list and then I was in Mano again. Yeah. But yeah, I had to make sure I wrap my brain around things. Like that's why I had to figure out like, no, Ellie owns the dog Dulce with Oma. Yeah. All his friends with Rose and Rose is Holmes's that's grandma. That's really good. That's good that you did that. I do that sometimes on uh, certain cozy mysteries that I'm like, okay, this person was in the, when it's like a locked door mystery, I'm like, okay, this person was sitting here. I draw the diagram. Like, okay, this person was sitting here. I don't figure it out most of the time, but I like to try. <laughs> it's part of the fun of cozy mysteries. So, I mean, I kind of gave up with this one because she no, was I know, so right? detailed with it. Yeah. Like, I'm so impressed because I wasn't mad that I didn't solve it. Sometimes I'm going, oh, I missed yes. that. Like, I'm mad at myself. I didn't pick up that yeah. clue or, oh, that was so easy. I saw this, you know, 20, yeah. you know, 20% into the book. I wasn't annoyed with the red herrings because they all yeah. made sense and they all contributed yeah. to the mystery some way. I'm going, yeah. she's good at this. Like, no wonder she's such a big name when it comes to yeah. cozies. I'm like, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> totally agree. I loved, um, I would get frustrated by certain uh, mysteries when it's like, mm -hmm. it came out of nowhere. And it's like, okay, how we were supposed to figure that out. That was completely... So I don't like when that happens, but this was kind of like, she does leave little Easter eggs here and there or little hints here and there, um, except for the, the butt dial thing that like you couldn't predict that. Um, so I think I completely agree. She does such a great job with the red herrings and the details. Uh, it's definitely good to keep notes though for oh, me yeah. to keep track. Um, I think if I did listen to it, I would have to re-listen a couple chapters too, because sometimes I'll, you know, mm -hmm you know, your concentration wanes in and out sometimes. So, um, but I did read this one and I'm glad I did. Cause I know it's, it was very intricate, but very well done. So I not, just saw yeah. the comment about Crystal T. Nitz is calling her the queen of the red herring. Oh. And I like that as her title, because first of all, it's a great red herring, but it's also one as the reader, you're not going to be upset that you wasted yeah. 20 pages going down this rabbit hole. You end up going, Oh, I learned something or, Oh, that's, oh, this is a fascinating moment. This is adding here. Her red herrings are not just word count yeah. <laughs> storylines. Like they, yeah. they work so well. I, I like that as her title. Yeah, I love that. That's a great, someone should tell Krista Davis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. That I agree. I, I think I, that. that says a lot because I, yeah. I love that everyone is on the same, we're all on the same page going, this woman knows how to write. She's talented. Yeah. We get the details. It was yeah. impressive. I mean, very impressive. It looks as if every, I mean, I was seeing the, the posts. Everyone seems to love this book. So with the comments, like, please tell us like if there's something about the book that you just loved or want to talk about, because clearly this book was a hit yeah. and I love seeing so many people. <laughs> five paw review thing that's great oh too. i love that that I is so that. cute <laughs> i'm picturing like the little paw emoji like five paws <laughs> yeah i love that that's awesome but i just love that everybody seems to enjoy this every so often people are divided or oh i didn't like this sleuth or oh this thing ruined it for me everybody seems so happy with this book and that makes me so happy like i'm going I'm, like yes like yeah. there's a good one <laughs> yes and I'm right there with you. I'm so happy that we are talking about this book, that it worked out. Because <laughs> it would have been a difficult chat <laughs> if it wasn't. Oh, no, you're you're yeah. fine. I'm glad your technology is working. Okay, yeah. I mean, I've had every single technology issue known to man. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, like, I'm going, okay, like, we're just going to make this work. I don't know. Like, even if we had to switch over to Instagram, like, we were going to yeah. make this work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. <laughs> But the one thing that I will say, I would have been so disappointed, and I wrote it down. She drops this in at the 51% mark, the murder she wrote reference with Liesl Fletcher. And this isn't an episode of Murder, She Wrote. You know, you watch Murder, <laughs> She Wrote, and then they go into their Mystery Weekend reference. Yeah. So the Murder, She Wrote reference needed to be in this book of based course. on the title Murder, She Barked. So yeah. the fact that she had the reference, because sometimes when they have those titles that don't reflect anything in the book, that makes me so disappointed. Oh. This Agreed. title worked. <laughs> it was perfect. It was perfect. That was another. Like even her title is perfect. Like, yes. Even... <laughs> just this. So wonderful. <laughs> Overall, just wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. All the comments are going. I'm like, I'm missing them. Yes. Oh. All cozy elements for sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys are so cute. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed this book. That makes me so happy. 
Mm, that's a good question. Who will be the new mayor? Oh my goodness. I saw one of the titles was Big Little Spies. Oh and that my makes gosh. me so stinking that happy. Is so cute. <laughs> oh yes. my gosh. She knows how to create community. Yep. I think Ghost I have that this one. Is new. <laughs> that one's here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I actually put that one aside to take photos of. So it's it's in a different room, but I have yeah. that one. <laughs> it's here I borrowed this book from the library, but I'm definitely going to get a copy now because it's one of those ones where I, it was just a five read. I want a copy of it. Um, oh, if there's a book that's a five star read yeah. and I read it as an ebook, I'm buying the paperback book, even if I yeah. have no intention of like reading it <laughs> right away. Yeah. Like, but the fact that's there, it. I know we, we all know we all get it. We all get we're all book lovers. We all get it. Yeah, I'm going to buy it because I gave it five stars um, and uh, five paws, excuse me. Uh, and it's just something that I think I'll really cherish this series for sure. Yeah. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah. I'm so glad you enjoyed the book that much. Oh, again, you. I'm getting like all the warm, cuzzy, yeah. like, cuzzy cuddly feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you're also the cat lover too. So I feel as if we had the cozy companion for you and yeah, just the cozy great. moments. So yeah. I, I understand. I'm like, this is her book, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, um, I just, I love furry, fuzzy animals, except the rats, the rat situation. No. Not that there was a rat. Was there a rat? No, I mean, there wasn't. What? There wasn't a rat. So what Tiny was, was living in the attic. Yeah, he was camping but... out up there. And then we had the toupee that she missed. It. She thought that was the rat, which was actually yeah. the key clue component. Yeah, but didn't something run out of a room? I know Twinkletoes was remember. running around that entire inn. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I was confused. And then I was like, okay, it's a toy or whatever it was. The toupee. Yeah, that's it. But I thought there was something that ran. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I loved it. Oh, there were cats <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. And Oma's dog was Ginger Snap. I, oh, my gosh. The the it's names great. for the animals also added to the coziness of this book. <laughs> yep. As someone said, I can't recall who it was, all the cozy elements were there oh. that you had. It was just just perfectly well done. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm just nodding in agreement. <laughs> I am very impressed with this book. Yeah. And I also liked the fact that she had Sven. Again, this is, I'm trying to kind of say this in a nice way. I'm like, he was murdered. But I like that he <laughs> was murdered very quickly. And then we get a second body drop. The yeah. way she did that worked really well for me as the reader because. For me, the faster the body drops, the more intrigued and the more invested I am. I mean, if you're doing a murder mystery and the murder mystery part hasn't happened until the 40% mark, that can be a problem, but it sometimes happens. So she she dropped the body right from the get-go. We have the mystery of what's going on with Oma. And then we have the Jerry body drop happen pretty mm -hmm. quickly. I mean, this woman like had me totally intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Cause Sven, you don't really get in invested in Sven because of the fact that he was at the beginning yeah. so you did need that emotional connection in a way even though she wasn't like really connected to, to Jerry but that emotional connection uh, connection for the community um so I completely agree with you that that uh, was well done that was good uh that she added that in body drop I was just so yeah the body drop <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I also <laughs> Was it Zelda who doesn't lock her doors? Because yeah. again, we're moving the chair in. She gets wake of course, we just had two just... murders, but yeah, we're not going to lock our door. <laughs> yeah, the pet psychic does not lock her doors. But I just I found that really clever with Sven because she had him as a character that we understood. He was the ski instructor, he was the night auditor, so we got to know him, even though he was dead from the very beginning. Very we beginning, never actually yeah. knew him; we just know yeah. him. And she also threw in that little, again, the red herring of he found, he won the gold coin in this gambling game. And, oh, people are getting things stolen. So it came back around with the thieves and Brewster stealing stuff. But, again, I'm thinking, oh, he has a gold coin. Did someone want it? Do they need it? So everything she does just makes sense and gives you that little, oh, wait a second. I need to make a note at this. She's a very smart writer. Yes, she is. Very much so. Lovely soul. Oh, we already talked about the Ben. The Ben will always be the Ben. <laughs> um, I do love the fact that she has quite a few characters she can build off of. Um, you got 
I think it's Shelly who's the mm-hmm. server in the in the inn, and you got Zelda, you got K- Casey. I think it's Casey. Uh, I just I look forward to seeing where all these characters kind of evolve into or what happens to them um, in the series because they see I love them. They're it's such a great little community that I just fell in love with. I know some people in the comments said they've already been reading the rest of the series, but one of the notes I <laughs> Oma is going to have a love life. I don't know who her love life is going to be with. Is it going to be Thomas, who's the maitre d' or owner mm-hmm. of the Blue Boar, or is yeah. it going to be with Kim's father, who seems to be in his own little world when it comes to their romance? Yeah. I mean, but Oma's love life is also something I was making notes about because I'm going, this is going to be in a future book. <laughs> Good for her. Good for her. You know, she's not dead. She's, you know, good for her for getting like she's gonna have um, her own little love story in the series. So I love that. But even then, I'm going. She's setting up the pieces for it. Of oh, Thomas and her clearly are smitten kittens, and they're yeah. giving each other those little looks. So yeah, something yeah. might happen. Yeah, and that they they went together to you know donate some food to that needy family. That's a, yeah, that was so sweet. So sweet. Yeah. Again, this has nothing to do with the mystery itself. No. But I was worried about this woman because I also liked the fact that Holly <laughs> sees her stealing and is kind of going, wait, this isn't right. Yeah. And she's trying to figure out, like, how do I wrap my brain around this? Because the store owner just, like, tells her, no, 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 like, let her Yeah, steal like, them. let her, yeah. Yeah, and she's going, what kind of example she's setting for her kids but then you find out she's actually doing things to make up and actually pay back in her own way and yeah oh everything that like you find out about this family i know that there's going to be books sometime down the road where they're involved yeah but in this opening book with their yeah. story i mean it's also nice that you know that this town isn't just the upper elites with their dogs who can afford yeah. all these things yeah so she gave it dimension too so yeah i agree Again, I love the character building, the character arc, um, the character based part of the novel, because it just uh, makes it a little more humanized for me. Um, and I did again, I, I like the different little different uh, depth to it is what I'm trying to say. There was depth yeah. to the story. Yeah, I agree. Oh, my gosh. Where was it? I just saw. Oh, here it is. The comment. Like, we take care of our own and wag tail. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, they were stepping cute. up and helping out. Like, it doesn't were... matter if you're not in a certain income or bracket class. Like, if you're in part of our city or our town, we're going to, we got your back. Yep. I want to be at Wagtail. I want to go there. I want to live there. So and cute. It's friendly. You can bring your cats. <laughs> yes. Bring my cat. They'll be in heaven with the cat pajama rooms and stuff like that. And yeah. And you have your own little gift basket. And what was it? The litter boxes were like eco-friendly. Yeah, everything was so eco-friendly. Oh my gosh! And the little treats and things like that on the pillows, dog treat, cat treat, and the human treat. Loved it. This is what I. This is why again I'm just so impressed because I'm going. Did you sit down and? How did you plot this? Yeah. Did you just go to inns and think of things that you wish were there? I mean, yes. were you talking to dog owners and asking them questions? Were you talking to vets? Are you just very imaginative? Yeah. I'm going, her brain must be something yeah. spectacular because this book is so detailed and so well thought out. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever spoken to Krista Davis? I've messaged with her back and forth. So yeah. I, I know her like a little bit. She's She seems very, very nice. I, yeah. She sent me um one or two of her books before so like i know her in that way okay i haven't interviewed her yeah. i might have to ask her for an you interview oh for sure clearly... i would love i would love to <laughs> watch or whatever it is and what capacity for that because i'm a fan now i was gonna say if you guys want me to reach out i will because right now yes. i feel as if i might fangirl at her and be like you're very yes. smart. you're so intelligent Dylan. yes i do <laughs> um she has like a newsletter she's pretty active that she yeah. like on her website i encourage you guys to um sign up for it she does like giveaways all the time yeah. um and she has like a new series out or something like that it's super cute it has dogs involved in it um but yeah if you interview her i yes i'll be there to watch or whatever it is you want me to do i'll be there because she okay. i'm a fan yeah i can add this to the list because yeah. also too this will be motivation for me to read the rest of the series because mm-hmm. i want to know what i should ask or be on the lookout yep. for so yeah you guys would also make me move up the tbr yeah, <laughs> and get to yeah. Work. right i 
definitely will make it a uh, num book number two on mood read, which will happen very soon. I'm going to push those arcs away. Sorry, publishers. And, <laughs> you know, I need to mood read sometimes. So definitely this was uh, going to be oh, one yeah. of those times I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When it comes to when I, I, I'm definitely swayed by my mood, especially because if you need something uplifting and happy, sometimes you fall back into your old favorites or your old favorite author who you yeah. know is never going to disappoint I, you. So yeah. sometimes I, I definitely am like, I need the comfort food of books right now. Like, yeah, give me a smile. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And that's why I steer towards, um, you know, I, I love romance. So romance yeah. and cozy mysteries for me are hand in hand. Uh, about There's my a reason e we get equal love. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but with cozies, it's just, it's again, cozy. It's my comfort read. Um, I know I'll just and be enveloped and love that world. Um, some cozies do get dark, um, yeah. but I, this one wasn't. This was just perfect. And what I needed at the moment was just this wagtail town. Oh, yeah. There can be cozies that definitely have more Agatha Christie vibes. Mm. And I'm on the edge of my seat where I'm going, please don't kill my favorite character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. definitely. Or it's a little like, um, I don't know. It, sometimes there's a, it's a little too, uh, the characters are a little too, like going through, I don't know, just a little, there's just a little too much going on with the character. That's kind of like, okay, it's a little darker than what I'm used to or want. So I don't know. Hard so to tell I'm, sometimes. I'm like, shout out to Beth Ann and Paula, who I met at Malice Domestic for the first time. They were so sweet and I love them. They're amazing. But you just reminded me of the conversation I had with them because one of the most recent, I want to say it's the third book and the, I don't want to mispronounce it, the Tata uh, Mysteries with, um, oh my gosh, Mia Manoncella. I don't want to mispronounce it. Okay. Her leading lady there is suffering from PTSD from finding the bodies. And I'm going, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, this is only your third book. Like this, how is this going to keep going? Yeah. Jessica Fletcher has never had PTSD and she was on for 11 seasons. Yeah. <laughs> so when I ever, when, when that came up in the book, I'm going, oh, okay. Like it makes sense. Because yeah. again, you're finding bodies. Yeah, and over and over again. Traumatizing. Yeah. But at the same time, like as the reader, I'm going, oh, like she she needs help. Like I'm yeah. concerned. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know. Sometimes it appeals to certain people, but for me, I like cozy mysteries to be light higher lighthearted. Um, but it makes sense, like you said, it makes sense that they would get PTSD. But then, how do you continue sleuthing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, yeah. I'm going, this poor character is going to need yeah. help by book four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope she has yeah, good health sure. insurance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Karen yeah. Therapy with the copay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it makes sense logically. But again, as the reader, I'm going, oh, like, I, I get it. But I'm going, oh, she's traumatized. Like, I don't want her to find any more bodies, but I want the series to continue. Now I yeah. feel guilty. <laughs> I get it. this fictional character. Yeah. Who's not real in her mental yeah. health. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean. I mean, it's an interesting take. But that's like one of the random ways where I'm going, oh, this this character has something going on. Yeah. And it's one of those, it it just, when you're not mentally ready for something when it comes yeah. to a book, it can take you out of it. So yeah. again, I'm, I've reached the point where like, I can finally talk about it because yeah. I lost my fur baby, Max. He's my boy. Like, And so January, our book was Pies and Prejudice. And the aunt was doing pet memorials. Oh, can you wow. guess what book I really didn't want to talk about on that particular I'm night? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> so, must like, have been tough. Yeah. Pies and Prejudice. Like, I haven't reread it, but because of what I was going through at the time, not the best read yeah. for me. So, like, it could have been a Pulitzer Prize winning story, but like, I yeah. it just didn't resonate the way it should have because <sighs> I'm going, oh my gosh you're talking about dead animals and like I just lost Max like a week and a half before I was having the worst time reading that book so yeah. like again it could have been phenomenal but it was just it wasn't hitting me the way it should have I get it I was going through timing um I think plays a big part in how well you enjoy a book as well mm -hmm. uh sometimes you're just not ready for it and sometimes it's just not even being ready for it it's just not for you at that moment because of just because but I think definitely timing plays a big part. Um, I know I've, I know I've um, did not finish some books because not that they were written poorly. It just, I was just not into it at the moment. Yeah. Um, 
I think it was a Mahari book, Mahari McFarlane book. Anyways, everyone loved it around me. Oh, no, is it Mahari? And she's a, anyways. Um, it was a book and she, it was a lot about grief and I lost my fur baby at that time. And it was just yeah. not what I need to read at that moment. And everyone was raving about it. And I was like, I don't want to read this. This yep. is, so I had to like DNF, not that it was because it was bad. It was just uh, written poorly it's just I it wasn't the right time for me so I get it totally get it yeah I mean I that's why I think something like this where like I was in the mood for it yeah, like me too again like I couldn't pick up the cozy companion books for like a few like I, I needed a break from it because <laughs> I'm like there's a dog in this book and I'm like <laughs> okay it's a fictional dog but I'm like crying yeah. my eyes out yeah. like enough time had passed like I mean I mean I still miss him but I can talk about it now without yeah. hyperventilating crying but like I think this kind of came at the right time for me because yeah. I, I've like, again, daisies in my life. Like before I was having a hard time kind of bonding with her cause I was missing Max so much, but like yeah. I've bonded, like I'm calling her my little girl now. And yeah. like, you know, I'm ready for the cozy companions. And, like we had lots of cozy companions in this book. Yes. So I'm like, this was, I'm like, this did not run me the wrong way. Like I was there for it. So I was a little nervous at first, but like it was, it was more than okay. It was totally yeah just i was i love it was a great book it was <laughs> I'm a, very a great with great yeah five paws guys right <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my gosh you guys are so sweet i know that like conversation took like a little bit yeah. of a turn but oh my gosh oh so paula and i know beth ann is here too they have cozy mysteries coming out so they're going to be published very soon so be on the lookout for their cozies Ooh, nice and i know paula's has goats in it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Which, so we're talking about cozy companions she is doing something utterly unique with goats. So I am ready for that book. <laughs> utterly. Like that. That pun. Utterly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm I'm glad that you guys are com like enjoying things. But if there is something you wanted to talk about, like, please comment now. Like, please get your questions in. I'm just going to make sure that I, I know I asked on Instagram if there's something you guys wanted to touch on. I think we talked about them. And I just realized, like. I'm getting that low battery thing. I'm like, go into saver mode. <laughs> there we go. Because I'm trying to be so good about making sure this is the top highlight, the murder she barked. I was very proud of myself that I updated it and everything because I'm still playing catch up. Yeah. <laughs> but some of y'all, I know, responded to the question. I just want to make sure we did touch on them because I have those. They're written down somewhere on my blue paper, but I lost track <laughs> of them somewhere along the way. But I know a lot of people said they loved it and they were already reading the second book in the series, which awesome. is amazing. But basically, like the comments are just so sweet and so uplifting. We're like, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Nobody had anything bad to say. Yeah. I'm going to let whoever follows me and I'll follow you back. Um, when I read book two, I'm up for buddy reading. So let me know if you guys, if I like, hey, I'm going to read book two, I'll like post it on stories or something. Just let I me mean, know and i'm up for buddy reading i love buddy reading so i love because, that yeah i just think this one comment of we need more hospitality businesses that cater to our pets that's I just agree. murmur <laughs> yes a thousand percent <laughs> i i think we all talk uh, yeah i'm like we did touch on everything so i just wanted to make sure like we we didn't leave out any of your favorites <laughs> yeah oh yes this is a very like one of the things where it has no, like, <laughs> I love it. Like yes, that's love, 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 love. That's the nicest way to let a guy down. Of that reminds me of Carrie Bradshaw with Sex in the City, the movie. Yes. Like, I need a bigger closet, and it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed the book. I'm gonna pull it up because I always I want to make sure I don't get it wrong. There's the images, and I there's there's this behind the scenes like pull this up so <laughs> we officially checked off the brush with murder last month we're checking this off and so next month is tagged for death which is Ooh. sherry harris and i'm gonna make sure that you guys know this is not the garage sale mystery series <laughs> with okay. um the full house actress Lori laughlin like this is the garage sale mystery series but it is not that mystery. Series. It's not that titled one, but it is tagged for death. So Garage Sale Mysteries, Sherry Harris. I wanted to make sure I pulled that up because I didn't want to forget to mention that. So please add that one to your TBR. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one because she is also someone I've met and spoken with. And she is 
so sweet and so lovely. And I feel as if I say this every time because I'm so far behind. I'm like, I interviewed this person. I'm going to try and get it done so that I can put it on before the live stream. So fingers crossed that this finally happens. I finally get that done because I think like we're talking back in November and the Emmeline Duncan interview still haven't still haven't <laughs> edited it. It will happen. But I was like, I'm going to get it done before we do the book. And it just think life happens. So I know life happens. I'm really hoping that this time things actually go go well because you can't can't predict things. But no, yeah, even true. just even things that just you Look can't what happened predict. here. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> it happens it happens i don't i don't know if she has another pen name that is a very good question i'm gonna have to look that up i i don't know if you all know but i do want there is an answer to this please please let me know if there's anything missing but over on the cozy mystery book club dot the cozy mystery book club dot com the website i made a page so i think it's under yeah, so it is Chat and Cozies. Yeah, so if you ch click on the link Chat and Cozies, the drop down says all the cozy names. I'm trying to make it easy because y'all, we talked about this before. There's so many pen names. <laughs> it's really hard to keep track. So there is a current list of what other names these authors have. If there is a missing one that should be added, please let me know because I'll even put this in the comments this way you guys can look it up. So if she does have another pen name, let me know and I'll add it. <laughs> because that is an... That is a list that I know someone's going to have another pen name and it's going to be AKA, AKA, AKA. Yeah. Just going to keep going. Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you understand. I mean, the Chat and Cozy's podcast, so many things have been meant to happen and they will happen. I've been working on them, but sometimes, sometimes things do go right. So for instance, I, once I know something is on the books, I plan accordingly. So as a, as the host, as the guest host, you're going to be getting something in the mail as a thank you. But I'm also oh, going to be you. doing a little bit of a giveaway. Ooh. <laughs> so in honor of Murder, She Wrote, we have the iconic Jessica Fletcher and one of her most That's fashionable so moments. I mean, the sunglasses, the face. I had a graphic designer do this in help. It's very know, cute. Did the little Procreate design. And I think it came out really, really cute. Yeah. So. I did plan this accordingly, so I am proud of myself. Very cute. Sometimes things work out well. Yes. <laughs> so we have this little thing. I'll I'll pick some names, so we'll have some secondary winners in addition to the new book. I have it, the printout, the Flat White Fatality giveaway. I'll do some sticker giveaway winners, so you'll win the Jessica Fletcher sticker and maybe a little hashtag cozy rereads. So very cute. But I am very happy that I have the <laughs> have our Jessica Fletcher ready to go. Yes. So. We have that. <laughs> Very good prompts for photos. I love those to use on your, there you go. <laughs> well, I mean, I, it's murder. She barked. So we had to have a yeah. murder. She read moment. Ready to go. So makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just, again, like, I'm like, this worked out well. I got this one. Yeah, so. you did. You Perfectly. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful that you were able to get the technology to work. Thank I really you. do. I'm going to pull it up again to make sure people, she has her Instagram handle there, but she also has a blog and I love her website. I am always impressed with someone who actually remembers to update their Goodreads because I never remember. So she has a great Goodreads. She has her blog. She has a couple coupon codes there too. So I know you have the book. Yeah. What is it? The book outlet. The book outlet Canada. I know you have that coupon, and then it's the mm -hmm. scribbed. So she has a couple things there to help you out if you do want to have some bookish love in your life in those areas. Thank you. <laughs> and again, I love her Instagram page, the pastel colors. Oh, Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh you very gosh. much. I know she has. Oh, <laughs> I just saw Madeline's comment. I can do a little Instagram story and give you the little four on one of what's been happening because I feel like it's a long story, <laughs> but things that. It needs to be edited. We finally have drafted manuscript. Just needs to, again, things just have been on the back burner. So it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, sh your website, I wrote down the name. It's just tamsterdamreads.com. Yes. Yeah. And so it's on my link bio too on Instagram. If you have Instagram. Oh, thank you, Beth. That's so nice. I know. Everyone's I was very she was nervous. Like, was is... a great person to join. <laughs> I was so nervous. I'm very much an introvert. Don't like being the center of attention. I'm now I'm blushing. Thank you guys. 
you guys I are mean, making everyone's commenting. They're yeah. like, she's fa- like, she is great, right? I'm so happy that you said yes and you love well, the thank book. Thank you for asking we're discussing. me. Thank oh, you for asking. I'm so me. happy. I'm so very glad nice. that the technology worked out for us and was on yes. our side tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much. I had so much fun and thank you everyone. Uh, if, if I don't follow you, please message me. Cause sometimes, you know, it just gets lost in, you know, feet in the feed. So uh, just let me know. And I would love to chat with you guys. If you guys, I want to, you know, talk to about cozy mysteries more the merrier. Yeah. I was going to say, you're making yeah. me kind of curious because I organized the library lovers buddy reads i'm going should we do the buddy reads for this series too i'm like you and i'm going yes. she mentioned buddy reads i'm going she's making my little my, the little yeah. wheels turning in my brain oh, yes <laughs> definitely for sure for sure this is a great so series to buddy like, read. i'll do the buddy read she's amazing <laughs> and she does so i have to admit like i again i i'm working on things i'm trying to be better i'm you know when it comes to dms i am behind this woman is on it she is on her dm game so if you message her i can guarantee you she will get back to you <laughs> she's very good about that I'm, i admit uh, yeah. like, i'm a work in progress with the dms because twitter i'm not twitter instagram will just like push them down depending on time so i'm like wait a second this says it's red it was not red yeah. she actually is like on her instagram game across the board with her highlights the instagram feed her stories she's got it oh thank you very much thank you very much but you do a great job as well as you can. So don't worry. You're, oh, you're good. Yeah. You. Oh, I'm so appreciative of everyone joining tonight. I am so happy you enjoyed this book. And I will definitely try and draw something up when it comes to this series because so many people enjoyed it. That makes me so happy that y'all, because again, every book is chosen by book club members. It's submit, the titles are submitted by, voted on. I'm like, you guys chose it. So you chose well. This is just making me so happy. Like the book club came together and you chose a great title and you enjoyed it together. So give me all the warm, cozy feelings right now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you to Tammy for joining. And thank you guys for taking time out of your day to join the live stream and chat with us. I'm always amazed that everybody is just so engaged it just makes me so happy because i get to go back and read the comments that i didn't see live and they're always so sweet and so thoughtful so i'm really looking forward to getting to go read through everything that i didn't get to see tonight so you guys definitely put the biggest smile on my face you're ending may on a great note tammy was amazing she did not let any technology get in her way because she's going to talk about coziness no matter what thank (laughs) you she also has two amazing fur babies who I'm sure are wondering where her mom is. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining. Ta- thank you for Tammy for joining as the guest host. So please thank take you. care of yourselves and please stay cozy, enjoy reading, and have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.